Today, I'm going to show you how I've automated thousands of images using ChatGPT and AI. And even if you're in a crazy niche and you're looking for very specific images, for example, an image of a dodo and the color of a unicorn, these methods work. It's easy to do, automate and give to your team so it will save you time. These are copyright free methods and most of them don't cost anything to use. Plus they're getting results for websites like cheaperbirds.com. You can see some of the images are really nice and they're generated completely with AI on this website and they can help you get better rankings. And I'll talk about more on that in this video. So let's just get straight into it. Stop the chit chat. Let's go. So one of the easiest ways to do this is if you go onto chat GPT, make sure you've got plugins enabled. So you go settings, be the features, you've got plugins enabled there. And what you can use is a free tool called Argil. I think I pronounced it right. It's called Argil AI. Now this is free for a trial. I haven't paid for a single image on it. You get about a hundred images free, something like that. Now, how can you automate images? All you, all you need to do, very simple. So if you go to new chat, you're going to make sure that you have plugins enabled like so, and then you're going to make sure you have Argil enabled. Where is it now? There it is. Okay. And if you don't have it already, then you just search for Argil in the plugin store and you get it for free like that. So how do you do this? Well, basically what you can say to Argil is create an image of a penguin with the head of a giraffe and the wings of a bat. What that's going to do is create precisely that, hopefully. So it's working its magic now. It's getting the drawing board out. It's a bit like Art Attack, if you ever used to watch that when you were younger. And there you go, you got a fantastic image of a penguin with the head of a giraffe and the wings of a bat. Now, the better your prompt is, the better the image is going to be. So we're going to try this, insert a dinosaur into a modern day urban environment, like a T-Rex waiting in line at a coffee shop trying to use a smartphone. And there's your T-Rex at the coffee shop, probably Starbucks or something like that, waiting in. And you can see it used Argil to create the image. Easy peasy. What you can also do is go to bing.com and you can go to their image creator. It's powered by Dali, right? But this is free to use. We'll try the same prompt now with a dinosaur at a coffee shop using a smartphone. And you can see here he is, probably on TikTok or something like that. And the image actually looks decent quality, right? Not bad at all. If he's getting all the angles in as well, he's probably posting it on Instagram, something like that. And I think that's another dinosaur in the background or something. So that's two ways to create AI images already for free. Now, what happens if you want to add some text into the image? What you can use is designer.microsoft.com. Now I signed up for a trial and I got access pretty quickly and you can design Instagram posts. You can design posts for your blogs, etc. You can design posts for content on YouTube. Very simple. So if we put the same prompt in here, we'll click generate. And what this will do is actually create multiple images based on the prompt we've given it. And it will come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, as you can see here. You got some text inside the content. You can actually edit the content yourself. The only thing I would say with Microsoft designer is that it's not that creative, right? So it's not really created an image of a T-Rex. If we go on this image, for example, here, and we'll click customize design. There is no T-Rex in the image, sadly. So this isn't quite as creative, but most of the time you don't need that. However, what you can do is, for example, if you were creating a blog post about eagles, then you can create a very simple image like this. And then you can have an image of an eagle with the text over the top. You can edit the text if you want. You can detach the background. You can crop it, remove the background, etc. So you get a lot more customization of the image, but the image isn't as creative. There's two different trade offs set. You can also see different variations of the content here. So different styles, which is pretty cool. Lots of different designs there. Some of them look really nice. I mean, they're simple, but they do the job. And you could easily use that on a blog post. If you click templates over here as well, there's a bunch of other templates and you can get the same content inside that template, right? So if we click on this one right here, then it will set the image with the text overlay. Same for this template. And you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. So if you keep the prompt very simple and it doesn't need to be too creative, I would recommend Microsoft designer. Plus you can insert keywords and text over the top. Next up. And this is what worked for my website, juliangoldie.com is you can actually insert YouTube videos inside your content. Now that's not necessarily AI generated content, but it's very easy to do and it saves you a lot of time. In fact, if you look at, let's take the top five keywords that we're ranking for, ranking number one for a lot of them, and we scroll down and we take a look at the content, I've pretty much got videos inserted inside every 
single piece of content, as you can see. Now, I know most people are not actually going to watch a video, but it just makes the content look better designed when they scroll and scan through it. And if you're on WordPress, it is so easy to do this. So all you need to do is you would right click the video, copy video URL, go to your post, paste it into WordPress like that, and it will automatically embed the video inside the content using the thumbnail. Looks pretty good. Very easy to do. One click, and then you don't even need to create anything new. And the beauty of this is that you don't host the content. You didn't see all the content. You can embed anyone's content inside your content as long as you see the embed option on video. So if you see that copy embed code there, you know that you can embed it inside your content. And bear in mind, you're just sending people to the video. You're not actually hosting it or claiming it's yours, etc. So it's copyright free. Now, another way to basically automate all the images on your website, for example, like you can see here, we've got featured images for every single post. I didn't insert any of these manually. I actually automated for the whole website, right? And how did I do that? I used a plugin called Featured Image From URL. And what you do here is you install this plugin. It's about $50 a year, something like that. Now, if you go to this automatic section over here, you can decide to run it for all posts. Basically, it'll pull in a image for each article automatically based on the context of the article, right? So this article is about yin and yang. The image featured is yin and yang, and it's actually pulled in the image from a URL. So it's hot linked. For example, this is taken from publicdomainpictures.net. And you can actually set a license filter here. And I've set mine to public domain, which means that I can use it for personal, I can use it for commercial, and I don't need to add a credit to the images. So it's nice and easy, very quick to do. Took about one minute to set up and it automates the images across your whole website. And you can see for this website, it's doing quite well since we set it up. Part of that process is making sure that we add images automatically to all the content. And you can see it's inserted images automatically into each piece of content, as you can see here. Very quick and easy to do. And it automates it across your whole site. Plus it handles the copyright stuff for you. Now, what you can also do is if you go to make.com, not only can you create content a bulk and automatically post it to your website for free because you get 1000 operations for free per month, but you can also automatically generate images inside your content. Now, if you want free, you might have seen in my other case studies, very easy to do. Next up, let's talk about creating diagrams, right? So you can actually create diagrams you might have seen my link building tutorial on how to get natural backlinks using case studies and data, but basically you can generate images like this when you plug in data into chat GPT. Let me show you how. So if you go to GPT-4, go to advanced data analysis, and then you just plug in your data. For example, like create a pie chart that says 50% of penguins like gangster rap. That's what I've heard down the grapevine, facts. And then it will create a pie chart like this, and you can plug in any data you want. Very useful for making your content look well researched and it will pull up a pie chart like this. You can see 50% love gangster rap, 50% love other music. And then you can automate any sort of data and charts and diagrams for your content. Now you can also play around with the format. So you could say clean it up and present it nicer and it will generate a different style of design. And the better you prompt it, the better the end result will be in terms of quality. And you can create any type of graph you want, really. So for example, if you say create a line graph of a website increasing its SEO traffic, it just creates a nice little graph like that. So line graphs, pie charts, bar charts, etc., you can all create using advanced data analysis. You just plug in real data. Don't ask it to make it up. Now, what happens if you want to generate AI content and AI images at bulk, but you don't want to use make.com or use your own API, etc.? So Agility Writer and Autoblogging are my favorite options at the minute for creating content. And this is an example of Autoblogging AI. Images are really, really nice. They've definitely improved a lot. It looks pretty cool. And I think you could use that for basically any type of animal species you want or whatever. And additionally, you can take a look at this content created with Agility Writer. So two very good options here. Autoblogging is great for bulk content. Agility Writer is great for one by one content. So I think you can actually choose to create the images with Midjourney, not Dali on Agility Writer, which means the quality of the images and the outputs will be a lot better. The images are contextually related. So for example, this is about bald eagles heads turning white and this eagle right here has a head that's white. So the images and the content are related, which is pretty cool and they're unique images. 
and it just takes one click to use these tools. Now, if you don't want to use AI images, you can also use a copyright free website like Unsplash. You know, for example, if you type in Eagles right here and just avoid the premium images, for example, this one is free. You can download it for free. Images are really nice. You can insert them into your blog nice and easy. Now, if you want cheap stock images at bulk, you can actually go into appsumo.com and usually they have some deals for bulk images, right? So I'm not using affiliate links or anything like that, but you can get some good lifetime deals, for example, like unlimited photos. They've got 12 million stock images. You can sign up for the purchase, check out the reviews, etc., And they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So even if you don't like it, you can get a refund pretty easily. It's just like one click to get a refund on this website. And that way you get better quality stock images if that's what you want to use. Doesn't take long and it's very easy to do. Now there's a million number of things you can do as well. So for example, if you want to get a bit more technical, you can generate videos from image sequences using your AI generated images. And it's becoming easier and easier to generate AI video content using AI images. So for example, like this video right here, you can see it. I don't know if this is with AI or not, but basically you can easily merge images and audio to create new videos and then embed them into your website. And that way, potentially, if your content is good, you could get traffic from YouTube and Google. You might get some ad revenue if you get enough monetization. And you've probably seen on your own YouTube algorithm, more and more AI generated content in video format. So there's just so many options out there more than ever before. And we basically have zero excuse not to include images in our content. Now, why would you include images in your content? Well, first of all, images potentially can increase your earnings, right? So if you look at Mediavine's website, this is an ad network that pays content publishers to monetize their content with ads. They talk about how images can increase CPMs and impressions. Why? Because the longer readers are scrolling, the easier it is to monetize and the more chances you have to make more money. Additionally, there's going to be some search terms, for example, like this page that we're ranking for, where you can see, where you can see Google has basically pulled in our images from our page, kind of like a YouTube thumbnail, right? So if we didn't include images in our page, it's not going to look so good when it showed up on Google. Plus, it may reduce the click-through rate of our content. And these images were just pulled in automatically. We didn't insert any schema or, or anything like that. There was nothing fancy going on there. It just pulled in the images automatically. You can see they're just inserted normally into the page. Now, if you have better images on your page, your content is better, it's more interesting, people are gonna keep scrolling, and that can improve your on-page metrics, which means better SEO rankings. How do I know that? If you look at this case study where Backlinko actually analyzed 11.8 million Google search results, they found that websites with above average time on site tend to rank higher in Google. How do you improve your time on site? Well, one of the ways you can do that is with better images and better content. In fact, just increasing the time on page by three seconds can improve your rankings according to this case study. And for me, I always focus on facts, not opinions. The only thing you need to be a little bit careful of is every time you host an image on your website, it creates a new inode. And depending on your hosting plan, you can reach your quota. Now, if you reach your quota, your website gets taken down until you pay more to keep it hosted. So be careful of that. And you might also ask our AI images generated copyright free. Well, I checked this out on Perplexity AI. They said, according to the US Copyright Office, AI images from text prompts cannot be copyrighted in the US. However, you've got to do your own research there. I think it's a bit of a gray area. So you still need to be a bit careful there. And it depends which photos are used to create that content, right? So the AI has to generate images from somewhere. So do your own research there. From what I've seen, it's copyright free, but I'm not a legal expert. And thanks so much for watching. That is 10 ways to generate images that we've talked about today. So Microsoft Designer, AI image creators, embedding YouTube videos, featured image plugins, one-click writers, diagrams, DALI, Unsplash, AppSumo, and ChatGPT plugins. Lots of ways to generate images. A lot of them are free. If you want to get the AI image bulk content generator that I talked about previously, then you can get it in my free course. If you want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website, from SEO, then feel free to book in a call. I'll leave a link in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.